chemistry and you are watching Gram Science. In this video, we will learn that when we perform the titration practicals, then after performing the titration practical, that is after taking the reading, how should we tabulate the readings? Then after tabulating the readings, how should we choose our readings from all those noted down for the further calculations? And then what are the other points that should be taken care of while writing the practical paper? So, in short, this video will show you that after performing the practical and taking the readings, how should you solve the practical paper? So here is a sample question of a titration practical from one of the past paper questions. Here it says that HA is an organic acid and solution of FA1 was prepared by dissolving 13.1 gram of solid HA in each DN cube of the solution and you are to determine the relative molecular mass of HA by titration with aqueous sodium hydroxide and the equation is given here. So here is an acid reacting with NaOH to form the salt and water. Now here it's given the information is given that FA1 is a solution of 13.1 gram per dm cube of an organic acid HA and FA2 is a solution of 0.1 mole per dm cube NaOH sodium hydroxide and in bromothermal blue indicator is also given. So the concentration of NaOH sodium hydroxide is given. Now let's have a look at the method it says fill the burette with FA1, use the pipette to transfer 25 centimeter cube of FA2 in the conical flask. All this you are going to perform while doing your practicals. So these points are not important, but what I suggest is let's concentrate on tabulating your reading. So here it says perform a rough titration and record your burette readings in the space below. So here I have drawn already a table, you should draw a similar table to tabulate even your rough titration, no need to write it directly in the space given here. So tabulate the readings and that's why the first column should have initial readings. If possible write the unit for those also final reading that also in centimeter cube and then the difference or the title but in place of writing the difference here i prefer writing it tighter because that's the reading you're going to consider so tighter in centimeter cube now don't forget writing the unit so even the rough tighter should be written in the table form rough tighter to be tabulated that should be the point noted and don't forget labeling labeling the table with units so that is what you need to take care label the table with the units now suppose your initial reading is 0, 0.00 centimeter cube so another point to be noted down write the readings with two decimal places two decimal places has to be taken care two decimal places so 0, 0.00 need to be taken as your initial reading now the final reading suppose says to 25 centimeter cube so i'm writing 25.00 and so the difference is also 25.00 so now i should write my difference here in the space given as 25.00 centimeter cube you can always pause the video and note down the important points which i'm discussing here and so let's go ahead next it says that carry out as many accurate titration as you think necessary to obtain the consistent results make certain any recorded results shows the precision of your practical work record in a suitable form below all of your burette readings and the volume of fa1 added in each accurate titration 
so here i prefer that minimum of five accurate readings should be noted down minimum of five accurate readings should be noted down even if you are getting two correct accurate readings very close to each other still five readings should be noted down to show your precision of the work now record in the suitable form so here again you need a table so let me insert a table here so here is my table again and we can label them again with initial readings initial readings with centimeter cube unit final reading again with the unit centimeter cube and then tighter with the unit centimeter cube now suppose my first reading is 0. 0, 0 again and this time I got the final reading as 24.1 but then I'll I'll write it as 24.10 and my difference will be 24.10 again in centimeter cube now next reading suppose it was started with 10 so I'll write initial reading as 10.00 and maybe the final reading may change to 35.00 so the difference is 25.00 suppose again the initial reading was taken as 10 so 10.00 final reading i'm giving you a virtual readings here because the readings here you will note down is the one which you perform but here as we are not performing, I am giving you virtual reading so that you know how to go for the further calculations. So suppose the final reading is 34.00. So here the difference will be 24.00. Next if the burette was fully filled and the reading goes to 24.10 again. So the difference goes to 24. 1 0 again suppose the burette was filled with 10 centimeter cubes so the reading goes to 34.00 again so the difference is 24.00 now i have got minimum of four readings which are very close to each other with the difference of only 0. 1 centimeter cube so such accuracy that is what is mentioned here precision of your practical work such readings and results should be shown so accordingly we have to choose suppose if i haven't got minimum of three readings which are very close to each other with the difference of 0. 0.1 centimeter cube then we i can add more readings here but as we have already got four readings out of five which are very close then we can stop taking readings here now the another important part is that we can see here that this reading that is the second reading is little farther from the other readings the other readings are at 24 approximate so this reading 25th that is the second reading should not be considered for our further calculation because that may be considered as anomaly so we should take the readings which we are considering so this one this one this one and this one are the readings we are considering and the second reading we are not considering so no need to put the cross but take the readings which you will be considering for the further calculations so that the examiner knows which readings have you considered to take the mean so these are the points you should be taking care while tabulating your accurate titration readings now let's go ahead with the next part of the question it says that from your accurate titrations results obtain a suitable value to be used in your calculation show clearly how you obtained this value now what are you supposed to do is take the readings which you were supposed to consider that is 24.10 plus the third reading the third reading is 24.00 then the fourth reading is again 24.10 
plus again the fifth reading 24.00 for your calculation and take the average that is the mean of these four readings so this is how we are going to calculate further mean accurate titration from the other accurate titrations we had taken earlier in the part a and so the mean is 24.05 centimeter cube of fa1 which was required to titer with 25 centimeter cube of fa2 now let's go ahead with the next part c calculation part show your working in appropriate significant figures in your final answer to each step of your calculation so the first sub question for your calculation is that calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide present in the volume of fa2 pipetted in the conical flask now you are supposed to calculate the moles that is sodium hydroxide moles which we can write it like this so moles is equal to concentration multiplied by volume so as it is given in the question itself at the starting part of the question itself that the concentration of NaOH was 0.1 and the volume which we had prepared was 25 centimeter cube so converting it into dm cube we need to multiply it by 10 power minus 3 or divide 25 by 10,000 so here our answer is 2.5 into 10 power minus 3 moles so let's write that here but don't write directly here in the blank you need to show your working with the formula so that it should be considered for the full marking now use your answer to c1 and the equation on the page 2 to determine the number of moles of organic acid hj used to neutralize 25 centimeter cube of fa2 now let's have a look at the equation now here the equation shows the stoichiometry that 1 is to 1 moles of HA acid and NaOH is required. So the number of moles of acid required to react with NaOH will be equal. So number of moles of HA is equal to the number of moles of NaOH that is sodium hydroxide is equal to 2.5 into 10 power minus 3 and that comes from the equation where the stoichiometry was 1 is to 1 so we can write it as 10 power 10, 2.5 into 10 power minus 3 now let's see the next sub question it says that use your answers to b and c2 to calculate the number of moles of ha in 1 dm cube of fa1 now the average mean average volume of fa1 that is ha we had seen the mean average was 24.05 centimeter cube now here it says use your answer to b that is this one 24.05 centimeter cube of fa1 and c2 that is the moles of ha to calculate the moles of ha1 in 1 dm cube of fa1 okay so here the moles which were present were present in 24.05 centimeter cube so if you want to calculate the moles in 1 dm cube that is the concentration so concentration is what moles divided by volume what are you calculating we are calculating moles in 1 dm cube that's the concentration of ha so the moles is here 2.5 into 10 power minus 3 and the volume is 24.05 into 10 power minus 3 again because this volume was also in centimeter cube so the concentration that is the moles in 1 dm cube is is 1.04 into 10 power minus 4 so moles of ha is 1.04 into 10 power minus 4 moles in each dm cube so it should be 10 power minus 1 so the answer is 0 0.104 moles you can see so it's 1.04 into 10 power minus 1 now if we go further calculate the relative molecular mass of the organic acid ha 
so the formula related to the molecular mass mr is moles equal to mass divided by the mr that's the molecular mass so rearranging the formula we have molecular mass equal to mass divided by moles so starting of the question we had seen that the acid which was taken in 1 dm cube was 13.1 gram so that's the mass of the acid you can go up and refer again that was what was the mass used for the acid it was 13.1 gram given right at the starting of the question and the moles here is 0 0.104 so the answer is 125.96 i'm writing till two decimal places but we can write it in one decimal place also but here i'm writing 125.96 grams so that's the molecular mass of acid h a now let's go ahead with one more sub question which there in this question is that a student carried out this method correctly with the same concentration of reactants and obtained a titer of 28.30 centimeter cube would this give a larger or a smaller value of mr than yours explain your answer now have a look on the top that what is the, our reading now our reading is 24.03 in place if we use a bigger value of 28.30 so this will give the concentration here as smaller because if we use a bigger value in the denominator the answer that is the concentration will be smaller if the concentration that is the moles moles is smaller then the denominator value goes smaller so the mr calculated should be larger so we can say that the mr calculated will here be mr will be larger than our value cause because the moles calculated will be will be lesser than ours so moles calculated will be lesser will give you mr larger so this is how you're going to not only after performing the titration you're going to tabulate your readings properly with the correct units also remember that the reading should be noted down to two decimal places you can always go back in the video and note down the points which we had noted down earlier and then perform the calculations with the mole concept correctly and so i hope this video will be useful to you whenever you perform the titration practical answer the questions properly with correct significant figures also